Welcome to Quick Kittle Questions, where I do my best to answer the most frequently asked questions. Today's question is how to use alpha masks in Kittle. And that's a great question. It can be a little bit confusing. Let's hop over into Kittle and I'm gonna show you how the alpha mask setting works. So I'm just gonna go over to templates. I am going to pick one of my bookmarked designs. Let's say, uh, let's say it's just this do it for love design right here, okay? So I have that loaded in. If I click on the artboard, I can see that there's no texture here. There's no texture selected. Totally fine. We can go over here into our textures and I could click any one of these. I'm just gonna go, for example, uh, with this one, super intense grungy texture. Now, I selected that and by default, Kittle will use color burn as the texture blending mode. Now, the blending mode is where you get to the alpha mask. So as you can see here in color burn, I can click the drop down. I can click multiply, which will provide a different style of blending mode. I can select overlay, which will give it a very faded and super bright kind of overexposed looking blending mode. Or I can go down to alpha mask and using alpha mask will essentially cut away that texture from the design. So it's basically like you took a giant eraser and the eraser has all those little bits and bobs in it and you stamped the eraser on top of the design and you can see here if I zoom in it's cutting away you can even either you can even see some of the checkers coming through as the transparency so it is making sections of the design transparent now the easiest and best way to utilize this uh, unless you're making a poster design, let's say you want this to be your t-shirt design, is to use the little clip content button, which is right here. I can click clip content, and now it is only cutting away from the design itself, not the background. You can see the background is now perfectly solid, which could represent the t-shirt the color that you want. Maybe the t-shirt color is yellow. Maybe the t-shirt color is orange maybe the t-shirt color is green i don't know um so let's just set it back to what it was and then you can adjust your opacity slider which is going to take a little just you see it takes a little bit of editing because this is essentially again it's trying to figure out how much am i trying to erase from this design so as you can see i've brought it down to about 65 percent and now it's less faded okay so it's it's there's still see some grunginess coming through but not as much as if I put it back up to 100. You can see there's a lot of faded texture coming through, which honestly for a, uh, for a retro design like this is actually kind of awesome. So that's kind of step one or part one to alpha masks, and you can do that with any texture. So I'll leave that like that. I'll open up the textures again, and let's say instead of grunge or paper, um, we go to a cracked texture, a concrete texture. Well, I'll go ahead and click this first one, and as you can see, the same thing is starting to happen. It's set to alpha mask. There's the texture preview. And if I zoom in, that texture again has been created uh, as a gigantic eraser. And you've erased that part of the design. So it, you can think of it as a giant overlaid layer that is erasing the texture from it. Now, if you want a super accurate alpha mask, we actually have a section in the textures category. If I scroll down all through these new textures, you know, we have plastic grain. We have an alpha mask selection of a ton of like perfectly black and white textures. Most of the textures um, in Kittle, of course, are super high resolution, uh, either grayscale or, or some sort of black and white imagery. These are true black and white. So for example, if I just select this first one, it is going to take a second and properly, and I, I don't know why I'm using the word properly, I guess I'm, what I'm trying to say is more accurately, completely erase from this design. So like this is completely gone, like this part of the letter is gone. So if I were to take the background off, it's gone. You can see there's a the transparency coming, coming through. Okay, so I'll put it back to that yellow. Um, but you could use any one of these. This, this one is like a fence. That's pretty wild. I don't think that makes sense for this design. Uh, but you can see if I were to take off clip content, 
it's erasing it from the entire piece. So if you wanted to make a poster design or a book cover or something with an alpha mask, feel free to, to not use clip content. But if you're making a t-shirt or a hat or something that needs to just have this, oh, you know, this proper transparency on the image, clip content is the way to do it. And so this is how you have all of these proper uh, alpha masks. Like this one's really cool. This is this would fit really nicely. It's half tones, right? So half tones fit that kind of retro vibe. And you can see it's this like radial half tone thing going on right here. Okay. Um, and so, but again, you don't have to do that. You could do that with any one of our other textures. For example, here's half tones right here. We click this half tone, and then and now it's it's clipping it to uh, the entirety. Now that's a little bit too intense. If I were to bring it down, maybe it makes a little bit more sense. Uh, maybe half tones for this one don't exactly make sense and I want to go to color burn Okay, so that makes a lot more sense. I bring this down so that the design is not so harsh Maybe somewhere around here. Or so uh, and that looks pretty cool So I hope that helps if it didn't please let me know down in the comments I'll do my best to try to explain it again uh, But thank you so much for those of you that have asked that question in the comments and of course Continue to ask more questions in the comments so I can do more videos like this so that you can be a Kittle master Thanks so much. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.